Monday the 27th of April. I'm going to start doing weekly vlogs, starting with today. Um, I have come home from work, everything's in the wash, I've had a bath, I've had a hair wash and my hair is just gone all curly from how it's dried, naturally. Um, I couldn't be asked to dry it, like hair dry it. Um, it is weird um, that I am a key worker and I'm going to work every day and it's getting a bit competitive now. Um, what well, we might be on what, I don't even know what week we're on now. I think we're most probably on what, week six of this lockdown now? Um, I'm guessing. But sorry if this camera is really wobbly. I'm using my phone as I can't be asked to set up my camera and tripod and film properly. <laughs> but yeah, I thought I'm going to start doing weekly vlogs again, telling you how I feel during this lockdown, along with on top of other videos coming up, like little treats and everything along the way, like little treat videos. But I thought to like tell you how I really feel deep inside at the moment, especially on top of my endometriosis as well. It's getting competitive. It is hard. Um, I do come home in absolute agony on some days that I just want to curl up in the ball and I do. I end up going home to sleep on the bed after I've taken some like paracetamol or even some of my methanamic acid, it just knocks me out after a while. But yeah, I thought I'll just give you guys an update. I'm doing okay today. It has been busy at work, but when is it not? But yeah, I work I work in a hospital. That's all I'm gonna say, I work in a hospital. Um, it does get busy, but a hospital does always get busy. Um, but yeah, it, it's going well. It's just, it happens quite quickly everything at work that's why my, my days do go quite quickly but at the end of the day I do end up being in pain but I'm doing okay I'm doing okay but yeah my podcast and my videos on endometriosis is on a high at the moment I'm really happy with it and it's a big relief for me to get my words out and how I feel about the whole endometriosis thing. Um, it has been difficult. It has been difficult for both Brett and I during this process, especially being now in lockdown as well and not seeing like family and friends. It's difficult. It is very difficult. And I do like, we still like speak to family on Facebook and we ring them. We. Uh, I haven't video called my family in a while. I spoke to my dad on video call a few days ago. But it is, it is hard. And that you can't, like, go go and see your family and hug them, kiss them, and all that it is. I think a lot of people do struggle at the moment. And uh, this, I think the last few days of last week, it really did hit Brett and I that we just wanted to go round his mum's and sit in the back garden and have fish and chips on a Friday. Because that's what we do. It is difficult. And uh, it's just life goes on at the moment. We we try our best. Brett goes to work every day as well as I do. And f fight the front line. But what can we do, hey? It, it's part of our job. It pays the bills, as they say. But yeah. Um, I just thought I'll start doing the weekly videos this this coming week. So this will go up. Monday the same day and hopefully the same time as my podcast if I get everything edited on the Sunday and I hope you enjoy the weekly videos they will get bubblier as they go on as the days go on it's it's just difficult at the moment but I just thought to give you guys the heads up what you might be in for so I'm gonna say peace out for now <laughs>
it's difficult um i can't actually see right now because i got water all over my glasses as well but it's weird because this is the first time actually filming in my car which is interesting first for everything as they say but yeah i'm now sat in my car i'm now gonna drive home i'm what i usually do is i clean my car with Dettol wipes um i clean my steering wheel my gear stick my handbrake and then using my handle of my door well so i open it but yeah no it's it's been a good day it's been a decent day i've got a lot done but it's just yeah it's same old every day after you finish work you feel absolutely shattered and then you go in the next day and do it all over again so <laughs> so yeah i look a right mess i'm now gonna drive home i'm gonna have a shower and hope well not shower i'll have a bath because i don't have a shower but i'll have a nice relaxing bath and then i'll let you guys know and film when i get home so peace out for now <laughs> guys it's wednesday the 29th i am currently sat in the car it is tipping it down with rain yet again but i thought i'd just quickly film in the car um i do apologize that i didn't finish um filming yesterday i literally as soon as i got in i got in the bath and brett ordered me food and that was it i was out for like the camp for the rest of the day but um I thought I would like give you like a little view of what what I do before I go into the house so I'm just going to turn my camera around hold on hi guys it's Thursday um I'm struggling to do funny enough weekly vlogs well filming every day um today I am day off which I'm sort of relieved in a way because it has been quite hard at work at the moment with um, constant emissions and then discharges it is getting a bit difficult at the moment that unfortunately under such pressure I had to ring my doctors today and get put back on antidepressants it's not easy um i haven't been on antidepressants for four years well yeah four years i got um i spoke to my i didn't actually speak to my gp i spoke to a doctor that wrung me back from my doctor's surgery and literally had a conversation sorry my hair is a mess and it's still damp i had a conversation with him and i explained that i think it's because of the amount of stress from work i'm not blaming work mainly for my stress um i know it's hard for everyone who i work with i think they all un should understand that we are struggling a bit we are struggling with staff it's not easy it's not like our normal day-to-day -day life at work it is not normal if that makes sense i don't know if you can say it is normal or not but it's come to the point that yeah i have to be put back on antidepressants i'm not i'm not saying it's a bad thing and i'm not in a way i'm not saying it's a good thing but how i see it is it might help me at this time of need because not only because of stress not because of just work it is my endometriosis that is flaring up at the same time and I know that I should really speak to my work colleagues and they're most probably going to find out this way and not me actually going up to them and telling them myself, which I do apologise. It's not been easy. I don't know how sometimes I can't put my own thoughts into my own words. And this is the way I find it easy to vent is by speaking to a camera. And I, ha I hate it. I absolutely hate it. I can't just sit, sit down and them properly to someone when you just need to find the right, right words um but yeah i'm not saying antidepressants is a bad thing and i'm not saying it's a good thing some people find it easy to use them some people find it hard to use them um 
if you are going through something like me, maybe it could be a solution. I'm not... I think one thing is for sure, Brett is worried about me becoming reliant on them in the future. And I just hope it's going to be a temporary thing. It may not be a temporary thing. It might be long term because of my endometriosis getting me down as well as everything else getting me down because of coronavirus. But... I thought I would film it because I'm now just in, into the weekly vlog just to say that I am not myself at the moment. I am struggling to create content, but I have like tons of ideas, but it's the fact of having that physical, like, I don't know, the physical persona to actually do it, if that makes sense. It is difficult. I am struggling. I have been speaking to Brett about it. I spoke to my best mate on the phone last night about it and I saw my godson and that put me into tears afterwards because I haven't seen my godson since he was a baby and he's now seven months old I think seven or eight months old and it's scary because he's growing up and I'm not actually being able to physically see him grow up and it's scary and I do miss my family I miss Brett's family I miss my own family I miss seeing my siblings and I think that is the same for everyone else who can't see their family members or have had to move out because of um, them being vulnerable. And sorry, it's, I'm, go I'm rambling, I'm rambling, I'm rambling. It's just, it is difficult. It is so bloody difficult. And I, I hate it. It's not, I'm not my normal bubbly self, like wanting to create content just because I'm happy and want to be bubbly and it is it's hard it is really really hard and despite Brett losing a family member during this and our, me losing a family member during this not due to coronavirus reasons but for other reasons that I don't really want to share publicly but it, it's hard. And today Brett and I are going to go go and say goodbye to his great nan properly. And actually go to the grave that she's getting buried today. And it's going to be difficult. But we want to pay our respects. And I couldn't pay respects to my great cousin when... For unseeable circumstances, I am not going to say what happened. But I now know where she's being cremated. And when this is slowly calmed down, I will go. Well, Brett's done that too quickly. Brett's tried some of the air... Well, now go try some of the airheads. And he's got a blue raspberry one at the moment. Is it good? They're really chewy, aren't they? They don't help my jaw. No, it doesn't help my jaw. My jaw really did, like, click. Like, every time they chewed on it. Is it raspberry? Blue raspberry. I don't know about you, I tasted more like, like a tropical kind of taste. No, I did taste blue raspberry, but that's because I've had blue raspberry before. You know, like, the fruit salad sweets you used to get when you were little? Oh, yeah. Mm. As a little bamboo. Representation of that. Mm. Nice. The only one that I didn't like was grape. You can't really try any more than those. <laughs> well, not the wrapper on the floor, love. Which one's that? The green apple one? Yeah. The one I'm going to avoid is the. Um, I'm not a fan of watermelon. The watermelon's not actually that strong. Cool, you're like proper doing. <laughs> Do you know what? I got some proper chew on it. Yeah. Like. Do you like that one, though? Well, I'll give you apple. That, it, that was like one of my favourite ones. 
I can't remember which I choose. No, it just reminds me of Apple cables. Oh yeah, Apple cables. But the other the other taste it reminds me of is um Apple Mawams. Mm. The one that didn't have a strong taste I found was the orange one. You'll like the cherry. I know how much you like cherry. Is that what you've got there? Was that strawberry? I did save you a cherry one upstairs. Strawberry. I don't like the strawberry. I wasn't a big fan of the strawberry. Like yeah, that was why I, didn't, I wasn't a bit keen on it. And the reason why I can now eat, I eat this and have no problem, you can't really swallow Hubba Bubba. <laughs> you can't swallow Hubba Bubba because it's bubble gum and chewing gum. You know how to swallow it. So you're going to just keep chewing that then? And because you, and because you like you, you, you can eat and to chew and eat this properly. Oh. This one, you can actually have a long lasting taste. The other ones that have a bubble and these just taste like more. No, it does, yeah. <laughs> just like how you go, oh, what? <laughs> well, we won. Well, he is playing FIFA at the same time. We'll add some points for the replay notes. And he has got the two the two mascots next to him. Which is Side Duck and Annie. Hey you're Annie. <laughs> yeah, this is the one. I didn't like. I found this like very perfumed. Yeah, I'll give it a try. Yeah, got it already. What do you think of that one? Yeah, I'm like sort of watching your facial expressions. <laughs> it's not the best taste, is it? The watermelon one. <laughs> The watermelon one was better than the grape one because that was what I was, that was what I was waiting for. Oh my god! <laughs> <That's brilliant>. <laughs> <laughs> Think I'm so good at these sort of things.
goes, it's Friday the 1st of May. I feel like I've filmed since I haven't filmed today. And it's now, it's come back to 20 past, I was going to say 10, not 20 past 9. I thought to say that my day has been a bit better. I've taken my antidepressants, I took one last night and I took one this morning. It's going to take a while to obviously start noticing a difference in a way. But I set up Zoom today and managed to speak to my grandparents and I think that's put a bit more relief, taken like a big weight off my shoulders to know that my grandparents are alright and that they're doing okay. It's a fact that obviously I don't live with them anymore and it's been difficult ever since I have moved out. But I, I don't regret moving out. I absolutely loved living with Brett. Just so I miss my family a lot. But I hope once this quarantine or or once this lockdown calms down a bit, I'll be happy to see my family, as well as Brett's family. I did see his mum today, um, in the car, as well as his nan in the car, so that's been nice to see them again as well, since it's been a while since I last saw his mum and his nan. And she, um, dropped off my birthday presents, which was a week on Tuesday, which has gone far too quickly. And it's not going to be easy celebrating my birthday with just Brett and I when I usually celebrate it with my family. It's going to be a bit difficult. But at least most probably I'll have a Zoom, have a Zoom video birthday. <laughs> which, that'll be nice. Since I've got the whole week off for my birthday. I think I'm going to need it. But I, yeah. I've got work tomorrow, work's been okay today, was a bit mental because they didn't have, um, they didn't have cover yesterday for when I was off, so I had a little bit to do today, which was fine, stuff happens when, when you don't have the staff, you're gonna have to pick up the pieces afterwards, but that's fine by me, I'm, I'm happy to pick up the pieces, because it's my job. So, I am going to sign off now. Um, I will film tomorrow. I might be in a bit of, bit of a brighter mood tomorrow. Um, just really shattered, as you can make probably tell because I'm rubbing my eyes. <laughs> but, um, peace out for now. Hi guys, it's Saturday. Um, the 2nd of May. Um, you can tell that I'm in my car. Um, it's sunny and I've put my visor down because otherwise I'm going to film with sun in my eyes. So do apologise for the, like the lighting in the car. <laughs> but um, today I'm at work. I'm at work 8 till 4 today. And then from there I'm going to go home. I'm going to have a nice glass of wine or a cocktail and enjoy my weekend because my weekend hasn't begun yet um just a, an update i'm doing okay i woke up this morning feeling a bit more chirpier um i have taken my tablets before anyone says have you taken them yes i have taken them um i don't know how long i'm going to be on my medication for but it's let's just say i want it to be a short-term basis i don't want it to be long term if i can avoid it but let's just say fingers fingers crossed it will give me the boost that I need if that makes sense um I don't want to become reliant on them if that makes sense um as Brett said he doesn't want me to end up being addicted to them which I should be all right because I, I came off it on my own free will last time that I was on them four years ago which was 2016 and funny enough I worked it out this is when I was on my apprenticeship where I'm working now and I was going through a rough time because I lost my granddad. Well, 
it's like the same circumstances all over again. I've lost two family members during this pandemic. Um, I'm working on the front line during coronavirus and I've got endometriosis. That's three, three to four things all happening at once and I can't really cope with it all at once. So yeah, so I think that's why I'm not saying it's a sign of weakness. I'm saying it's my, I could say it's my sign of weakness that I can't deal with stress quite easily. Some people have other ways to relieve stress. Mine's usually smoking or self-harming and I don't want to do that. So I got the help that I needed when before I even got to that stage. And I wouldn't have gotten to that stage because of Brett, because Brett's been there. Brett's my rock at the end of the day. Sorry, I just saw someone running, so I'm a bit intrigued. <laughs> but yeah, no, it's it's been all right. I'm, I'm getting there. It's just, it's going to take time. So I'm going to have my fruit bake, my apple fruit bake from Go Ahead. Um, take my methanamic acid and my amoprazole and then go to work. So I will film you, film, eh? I will film later on. So peace out for now. Right, I want to apologize first for not rounding off the video from yesterday. So I'm gonna round that off first and then start today's. So I wanna say thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, and share. And I will see you guys in the next video. Um, I will also apologise now that I am not uploading a podcast. I might just clip clip this and copy it into my weekly vlog, from finishing off weekly vlog from last week because it's been difficult. I can't get my words out properly you can tell that I'm struggling in this that I'm struggling but yeah I'm I'm coping slowly